Hello everybody! Today I would like to make a SEPTA foil and do this to demonstrate Blender's ability to work with edges and curves, at least with uh, some aspects of it. Ok, I start with the default cube, tap to edit mode, select this face and shift, sorry, and select, shift, select these two, press X and delete the faces. Now A to select everything, S to scale it in and only on the X axis and depending on how small you make this your final object will become thicker or thinner. So I go to point 4. Then I tap to object mode, go to the modifiers tab and add an array modifier. <coughs> with merge and I want to have 49 uh, a count of 49 and apply it. Tap to edit mode and this is what we have so far. Next go back to modifier, add a simple deform modifier Axis is X, that's good. Twist, and I twist it 7 times 180. Depending on how often you twist this, your final shape will look different. Now I apply this, add another a simple deform modifier. This time I want to bend it around Z, bend, and I bend it 360 degrees and apply it. Okay, tap to edit mode, then quick favorites and merge by distance and you see it removed four vertices then shift S, selection to cursor and now I actually only need one of these curves. So I go to vertex mode, alt left click, then right click no X and delete the vertices. And you see now we have a curve or actually it's, an, it's a mesh and we have to first convert it to a curve before we can continue. There are quite numerous other ways to achieve what I'm doing but I thought I show this one. So just watch this area here and I go to object mode, select everything, then convert mesh to curves. Object, convert mesh, ah sorry, curve from mesh. And you see now we have got a new uh, icon here. It's called uh, curve icon or whatever. So I click on the geometry and just add some depth to it. Make sure that we not cross 
or intersect with each other and here we can adjust the size of these squares. You could also play around with extrude but this usually changes the surface geometry and uh, I think I only use depth anyway. Now we still have a curve so we must convert this curve back to a mesh and you see our curve icon has disappeared. Now we could leave it like this if I right click and shade smooth you see this is a septafoil but I could also add uh, another modifier so shade flat then go to the modifiers tab and add a wireframe modifier. Now I can uh, thicken this a bit like so. Still make sure that I don't cross things. Now I think I leave it like this. And then I add a material, so go to the materials tab, new, make it something bluish, maybe a bit darker and metallic and a little roughness and let's have a look how now we can shade this smooth and add a plane. So shift A, plane, I scale it out a lot and then go to the side view, grab on Z, bring this down to here and have a look at the render view. We need to, to have a light. I want to have an area light. I grab this light. So and make it uh, maybe 2000 or 5. Yeah, why not? Okay, now numpad zero to see through the camera, then quick favorites and lock camera to view. Scale this in to about here and turn it a little bit. That's good. Then I select my cycles renderer with 512. Let's see. and make it smaller in the outputs. So times 720, this is the size which uh, YouTube expects for a thumbnail. So F12 to render. And then I save this image, save as uh, it's on the D drive.
I save it as set tofoil press on the plus here save as image and save my entire file also save as septo file click the plus here and save as blender file and this is it we are done thanks for watching take care and see you some other time bye bye